time to connect to your higher self. I'm saging the cards, we're cleansing the energies and we're clearing the air. I'm also burning some frankincense and palo santo. We're bringing in that connection to our higher selves and we're really wanting to understand what it is we need to know today. And I hope this can help you throughout the month of February. So in front of you, you will see three different piles of cards and three different crystals. We have the smoky quartz crystal. We have the rose quartz crystal. And we have the clear quartz crystal. So I'm going to give you a few moments to see which one is calling to you the most. Really sit back, relax, and listen to your higher guidance. So we're starting off with that smoky quartz reading. So the guidance for the month, what I'm really seeing is a fiery climax approaches, which is really quite interesting. So this is really telling me here that the month of February, things are really going to come to a head for you guys. So there'll be some choices to make for you. We have come to the edge. That's another lovely, interesting card here. Come to the edge. So you can see the woman sort of dancing around on the edge of that card there. And it's like, oh, am I going to actually do it? Am I actually going to take that step into the unknown? So this month, there will be a real focus on choices that you make. I'm also seeing here a new life. Isn't that beautiful to see here? So it's kind of like you are being reborn again, the people who have chosen this. So this year you may have been really thinking about, I want to do something different and I want to do something along the lines of what I want to do, what my higher calling is as well. So that's really beautiful to see. We've got the Seven of Cups as well. When we see the Seven of Cups, this is all about the choices that look really attractive to us. So you can see that person there and they've got all these different options in those cups. And it almost looks like too, there could be some curses there as well. So be very careful about what choices you make this month. Um, I'm also seeing the Nine of Cups reversed. So the Nine of Cups reversed is all about um, fulfillment. But it's like, oh, which choice am I going to make that really fulfills me? So when we see him, you can see in the um, upright position, he's like, oh, I'm really, really happy about what I'm doing. But when we see in the reverse position, it can also indicate that we, we know what we want and we know the choices that, we, um, that is before us. But it's also about the temptation when we see the Seven of Cups. Are we being tempted into the wrong areas? So really make sure when you make your decisions and your choices this month, that they're in line with what you truly want to do and that it's also sort of, sort of for the highest good as well. So you're not sort of being attracted to options that's all about just making finances or making money. It's more in line with your true calling, so to speak. So that's very interesting to see there. Also, this month is about reflection. So we're seeing the hermit here. So the hermit is about sort of going within it's, and it's also about the journey that we have within ourselves. So this month, whoever's chosen this pile, it's really asking you to connect to that higher self, really about your true calling and going within. You can see that person there, the light is there and it's right behind them. And it can, looks like it's sort of coming from them. So our, all the answers that we need to seek are within ourselves. 
So you can see the path there too. So that's the journey that we're on. And sometimes we can be sort of lost in the shadows, in the cliff, and we're not really, really sure about our direction. But that person hovering above there, it's the light. They're cre creating the light and they're not seeking it externally. So this month is a lot about self-reflection, about going within and it's also being daring about our choices, about daring to do what we truly want to do. So that coming to the edge is really speaking about that. So go within and make some really good decisions that are in line with you. When we see a fiery climax approaches, so you may be forced into making some decisions this month. So really, really think about those, um, those choices that you're making. So take that time and when that, that climax approaches, try not to be too flustered into making a decision that is, may not be in line with what you really want. Um, also in the past, I'm really seeing with the three of swords here in the reverse position. So that really tells me that um, you've had some heartbreak in the past and it's like, oh, um, I've been hurt by this before, I've been hurt by that relationship and I've been hurt by those people. And, but we can also see here in the past is the Ace of Wands and it's like the new beginning, the seed was planted into a different direction. So some of you may have been um, influenced into a new beginning and direction and, and I, I really sort of feel like this is um, a, a, like a change, an eventful change where you've had to move somewhere else or you may have been having to really sort of pack up your bags and leave or the, like a career was sort of um, changing things too and, the, and I can really see that the heartbreak was there and you were hurt and it could be this month that you might sort of see that um, that hurt sort of come up again and you might be reminded of those those times and those choices you made at those times too. So this month with that self-reflection and thinking about that time that you were hurt by certain choices and decisions you may have been forced to make, really think about what you did then and what you're going to be doing now as well. So presently I'm seeing you as the Nine of Wands. Here we go, you can see that card there. So the nine of ones, you can see that person there has been really through the ringer, so to speak. They've had a really um, challenging journey. You can see the bandage on his head and he's looking very apprehensive and he's also a little bit defensive as well. So you can see he's trying to protect himself from being hurt again. But, um, you know, being protective and being defensive of ourselves the whole time and not opening our hearts can be really um, it can be really really hard to sort of um, move forward you can be sort of stuck in that grief stage as well so um, I can also see that you may be uh, um, avoiding confrontation too and this could be like um, battles and fights and stuff that you've had with people before and you've like I just don't want to have to go through all that again and I can really see that with the Nine of Wands as well. It's like, I, I just need to build this barrier. I need to protect myself. And also with um, the Knight of uh, Wands uh, reversed, we can see that this could be in regards to relationships as well. And here we are, we have the heartbreak here as well. And it's like, I'm protecting my heart. I'm protecting my heart. It's been hurt before. But this month we've got, it's almost like you've been presented with similar situations again. So it's time to make some choices for you um, in relation to career, in relation to relationships too. Um, the Knight of Wands, this person here, so that you may be having a female or male around who um, can be really, really um, non-committal. Uh, they like to really move around. Um, sometimes they can, um, their ego gets in the way of themselves, but they're also an incredibly charming person. So a lot of people are really drawn to that fiery energy. So you might be around someone that really presents this type of energy this month. So when we're influenced by the night's energy, we need to ask ourselves, is this night's energy helping or hurting us on our journey? And that's only a question you can answer yourself. So I'm also seeing this month, oh, the tower. 
the tower comes in and it changes everything for you. So the tower and a fiery climax approaches. So this is really, really tells me this month that um, you're going to have an event that happens to you and it really, uh, it forces you to make those decisions. So I was speaking about the decisions before and it's going to be sort of changing things and making the new life for yourself. I feel like these changes will be really hard to deal with at the time, but it puts you on the right path to the new life. You can see that little fairy there. She's incredibly happy with her new life. You can see the light around her. She's waking up, she's stretching, and she's ready for that new journey. So this month, really, really think about what happens with this event that changes the course of your future and where, where you're going in your future and it's almost like it's a it's something that's meant to happen it may seem disastrous at the time but it sort of shoves you into that path you need to be on because what i'm seeing is the chariot the chariot is all about victories we've also got the t wars rune here too so telling me that you're going to be successful on this new journey this new path so you may be um, forced into a, a, a really like a, a fast period of your life when this happens. So it's like everything sort of speeds up and it's like, oh, I need to catch my breath. Oh, how am I going to keep up with all these new changes? But uh, the chariot is really saying that um, you've got that healthy dose of ego with these new changes and, and you start to become more confident in yourself. And you know why you're becoming more confident in yourself is because you were making the changes, you went within, like the hermit's telling you to do, go within yourself in the beginning of the month of February, take that time out for yourself. And when um, you know that big event may hit you, um, you're going to be ready to make those decisions. And now you may be presented with lots of choices with the Seven of Cups there. It's telling you that you may be um, tempted into different directions, but listen to that higher self. Come to the edge. Dare to do what you truly want to do. So don't be too influenced by others. Um, I'm also seeing temperance here. So I'm really seeing that you guys are going to be start to becoming a lot more balanced within yourselves as well. So that really check that really really tells me that it's um, these changes. You will be feeling unbalanced but then the balance comes in. So temperance comes in with that beautiful reminder that you're going to be healthy, you're going to be happy, and you're going to be in touch with your higher self so that everything's balanced inside and out, which is so beautiful to see with the major arcana card of temperance telling you that there. So really, I'm really seeing that the month of February for you guys is going to be really beautiful. So it's a, going to be, I think, a bit of a bumpy ride, but you're going to be sort of put onto that right path again. So really look out for you this month, your higher self, to, like take time for meditation, take time for yoga, because we've got that new life coming in for you. So um, best of luck for this month. I know you guys are going to make the right decisions for you. And um, please let me know if this reading resonated with you or not. I'd love to hear. So thank you so much. And I'll be moving on to Rose Quartz. So this is a reading for the Rose Quartz crystal. So the main message of the month is confidence. Confidence is the key to success. You can see that beautiful Leo energy there. And the lion, he has so much confidence in himself. So this is the reminder that you can do what you really want to do and really utilize the energy of Leo this month. We're also seeing poised. So that's also about confidence as well. And it's like, I am beautiful. I am confident I can do anything. So you can see with that little fairy there, she's her arms are really wide open there and she's dancing and she's just like, I can express myself freely too. So that is all about that energy of the month of February for you guys is um, having that confidence in your decisions 
and what you how you can apply this in your life we also have the knight of pentacles two of these knights came up actually in this reading so we have the reverse knight of pentacles from the light seers tarot you can see that there and we also have the other knight here who is in the upright position so we're, this month is really a lot of focus on um, sort of our material world so money home finances and work related issues as well so you may be feeling a little bit unbalanced when we see the knight of pentacles in the reverse position so it's like I'm working, I'm working really hard, but I feel like it's getting nowhere. You might be actually feeling a little bit stuck in a rut um, as well. And it's just sort of like, oh, it's the same thing day in and day out as well. Uh, so this is the month to really sort of inject a little bit more of that fun energy in there. Sometimes the night um, of pentacles can be really just sort of, I'm stubborn and like oh, I've just got to be doing the same thing and I've got to work hard and you know dreams and all that sort of stuff is like ugh, you know that's um that's all just you know fluffy stuff you know and that's that's not even worth thinking about you know I've just got to do the job I'm, you know that's presented to me sort of thing so we've got here the star so it's like listen to your higher self this month we've got the star here and it's all sort of about hope it's all about listening to your emotions and listening to your senses as well and really thinking that there's actually you know more to your life than you you're probably believing at the moment too so you can you do have the power to do what you want to do and change your world as well um, so when we see this the confidence is key to success and utilizing Leo's energy this is the month to really start to be um, a lot more confident in your talents and what you can do with those beautiful talents. Um, we're also seeing here the moon in the reverse position. So I really feel like some of you are just really pushing down those emotions when I see the moon in the reverse position. And it's you're not really um, like really listening to the dreams that you have. You may, may not be really sort of fantasizing about much. You're really sort of very focused on your work and you're focused on your life and your commitments and your responsibilities. But I really feel like some of you guys would benefit from really sort of stepping back and, and listening to the higher self and really listening to your, your true heart as well. Um, the Five of Cups tells me here that um, some of you may be a little bit regretful about your past and the decisions you've made in the past. You might be sort of focusing too on what's happened. So it'd be a really good idea this month to really start working through those emotions and what's happened too. So even getting some sort of counseling as well to help you sort of move on from those past hurts. And um, also because sometimes we lose ourselves in work and daily responsibilities and it's almost harder to listen to your emotions and really dig deep and sort of dig around and really sort of open them up and um, working through them, working through those regrets. So that would be really beneficial for you guys this month is to start focusing on yourselves a bit more and having that confidence there as well. That would be really, really beneficial. Um, I'm also seeing the Four of Swords reversed. So it tells me you guys aren't resting enough. You're not getting enough sleep. You might be sort of stressing a little bit at night too. I'm also seeing that it could be possibly that um, some of you are getting a bit sick, like you're getting those coughs and colds and things as well. So health is a little bit unbalanced as well. So you guys really need to start focusing on that. That would be really good. Health and um, sleep and really just, yeah, thinking about you yourself this month. So it's, I feel like a lot of you are just so focused on your work goals, your career goals, making that money as well. And it's like, oh, I've forgotten about me and what I want to. Okay. And then again, I see the Nine of Pentacles and it's like work, work, work and career and oh, I just, you know, money, money as well. So you might be saving a little bit here and there, but I feel like there's just so much stress related into I'm putting money away and having that focus on money and instead of um, doing that it might be really beneficial to start having that focus on 
you know, fun and maybe planning a holiday and maybe getting some time off as well. Um, the Four of Swords is really um, telling you that there as well is just to start relaxing a little bit more and because that is going to be really important for your health to be like the star. So it's going to be really important to just start being um, hopeful. I really want to say the word hopeful, like, you know, looking forward to the future, looking forward to what's coming for you sort of thing would be really, really beneficial to do that. So um, that is what we're seeing when we're seeing those cards there. The four of wands reversed. It's really telling me here that um, there's a lack of that sort of fun element as well in your life. And it's like you want to probably get married you might be wanting to celebrate birthdays you may be wanting to sort of get together with people and friends and stuff but all your responsibilities and your commitments you've just sort of shoved this to the side so it's starting to have that focus on friends family get togethers maybe it be a little bit more social and stuff as well so i think that would be a really good focus for you guys this month is to relax let the hair down, have some fun. That would be really, really good. Um, I'm also seeing here too that there's going to be starting to have a bit of a shift on this month as well. So the world is really coming up strongly towards the end of the month. So you're going to be starting to complete a period. And I feel like this period was uh, quite an interesting karmic journey that you've been on. So a lot of your challenges that you may be having are starting to come to an end point. So um, this with the star, it's like hope, hope and um, all these beautiful dreams and that can actually start to be realized for you, start to become a lot more hopeful about your future. So this time, the present time would be really good to start planning some of those fun events and starting to inject that sense of fun because you're coming to the end of the challenges with the world coming up there. So that is very beautiful to see there. You're coming to the end of your challenges. Awesome to see. Um, also, there's um, going to be a point where it'll be that time to sit back and reflect. And I think a lot of you, you might be a little bit blind to that at the moment because you're not stepping back and having that gratitude for reflection of what all that hard work you've been doing so that this is a really important card the seven of pentacles um, reversed it's all about stepping back and looking at all that hard work you've done it could be with your children it could be in your jobs it could be with your family and it's like having that gratitude and appreciation for the position you're in it would be very, very beneficial for you guys to um, sit back and do that and, and reflect on it so you can step onto the new journey. Okay. Now, in the past, I feel like a lot of you have um, had some choices to make. And so when we see the, um, the two of pentacles in the reverse position, it tells me that some of the choices that you've made, and we can see that with the five of cups too, it's like, I'm not really sure about how I've managed to juggle things in the past. Things have been really, really hard to manage and I've had to make some choices and then it's kind of like, mm, you know, some of the roads then that I've been down, the choices I've made were really, I wish I'd done this or I wish I'd done that. So that's really coming up strongly there for me. So I kind of also feel like you're going to be presented with some more challenging times where you need to juggle things around, but this is the time where you go, I need to um, sleep, relax, have that time to myself so I can be making the right choices for me going forward and not be forced into a choice that I don't want to do. So that will be really interesting to see for the month of February is it like what kind of choices are going to be presented to me? Am I going to start making good decisions for me? Am I going to start making time for myself? I really feel like a lot of you guys need to have some more fun. This would be a really, really good month to do that and have confidence in the work and the things you're doing because you'll start to appreciate more what you are doing as well when you have more of that confidence. So that is really interesting. The rune that came up for the month as well, uh, I forgot the name of it, Athila rune. So this is all about material world. It's the things, the physical, it's about our work, it's about um, home, the family, all that sort of thing. Sorry, I don't know if you can, it's in that 
quite in focus there. There we go. Oh, in and out of focus. But yeah, this rune is all about um, home, family, material, gardens, uh, work, um, the land, um, anything you can put your hands on. So it will be the focus this month is if you're trying to sell a home, you're trying to buy a home, and I feel like a lot of you are working towards this sort of stuff. So it's kind of like balance, balance everything out. Your like life can be about um, work, and that is a really important thing to get ahead in life. But it is about the balance too, because it, you've got to ask yourself sometimes, am I happy with what I'm doing too? Now the seven of wands has come up as well. So the seven of wands is about. Uh, it's about the people around us. It's about our actions. It's about. Um, our creativity um, moving and it can be really really interesting about this card is it's all about feeling defensive and feeling like you have to battle people's opinions so I think in the past when you've had your choices to make it's kind of like you felt um, you were backed into a corner some of the time too and it's like oh, I had to go and do this but I wasn't really happy with that and I felt like you know I was really pushed into things so the message for you this month is have confidence in your decisions um, and what you truly want to do you because you it is your life and you are coming to an end period as well with the world comes up and it comes to a very beautiful completion completion point and I think you're going to be really really happy but um, it really is important to appreciate how far you've come. So really take some time this month to appreciate your position in life, have a bit of extra fun, plan that holiday, plan maybe uh, a day spa as well, and go and relax because we've got the Four of Swords um, in the reverse position here. So have some of that beautiful confidence as well. Very, very important. You can do anything you truly want to do. All right, so that's the reading for the Rose Quartz. I hope you um, really enjoyed it and that it resonated for you. If it hasn't, that's okay as well. The message wasn't for you today. So thank you so much. And I'm going to be going on to the Clear Quartz reading. So this is a reading for the Clear Quartz. So the message this month is a new start is coming for you guys. So there's going to be some changes for you. I'm also seeing the King of Wands. I feel like this is really a lot of you guys. You're going to start to come into your element more. So the King is um, of Wands in particular is all about that beautiful creativity and energy too. So it's got a very magnetic sort of energy and an immense amount of confidence in himself more than likely um, he's a leader as well so some of you might be coming into leadership positions or you could also be in a relationship with this type of person as well so there's a real influence from the king of wands this month for you guys now i'm also seeing here with the wando rune it's all about that completion point too so you're going to start to feel um, a lot more comfortable about your life and the balance of your lives as well. So that is really beautiful to see there with the Wondro Room. Um, the message this month, the guidance that you may be needing to hear this month is about clean it up. It's in the reverse position. So that is all about our daily duties, the things we need to do every day. So the boring stuff. So it really is saying to Keep up with the boring stuff because those little things make up the big things in our lives. So if you've got like, for example, a garage that's just full of junk that you need to get rid of, they're saying it's beneficial to clean this type of stuff up because when we remove the physical, we can start to um, invite more of that new energy in and we're making room in our lives for the new things to happen. So. You, when you're physically moving things, other stuff will just naturally come in as well. So clean it up is a really interesting message. Now with the new start that is coming, I'm also sensing that there's a bit of resistance with this new start too. So you might be a little bit nervous of it. So when we see the, um, the sorry, this, I've had a blank, um, Wheel of Fortune in a 
the reverse position it kind of tells me that you're resisting a little bit about this new start so it's kind of a good question to ask yourself is like why um, am i resisting the change of events is it because i'm feeling uncomfortable with the new changes that are coming and you're starting to feel like oh no this is i'm, I'm happy with the old I'm, I'm happy with the way my life has been going but sometimes we need to change we need to let the new in so don't be afraid of it so welcome it with both arms because more often than not with this card it's about karmic stuff then the change needs to happen for you guys now also i'm seeing the high priestess in the reverse position so this is really telling me that you need to go within this month as well so um it's a good time to do some meditation connect to your higher selves and really get um a good understanding of what you truly want to do too so it's all about going within so there might be that resistance about going within and really touching on what you truly want to so um the new star is saying that um as well that you've got help so you're not on your own the leg up is telling us that you've got support around you so don't think you have to go around and do things all by yourself and with the king of wands it's telling me that you've got that beautiful um, talent there you've got that really great um, leadership skills some of you as well and that you've got that creative energy and confidence to really really do what you want so really remember that the lion's really standing out to me here telling me that you just need to have a little bit more faith about what it is you're doing and let the changes happen naturally life's not all about staying stagnant now I'm also seeing a seven of swords, seven of swords reversed and justice reserve, reversed as well. So this is really telling me that there may have been people in your past that have um, done you wrong. Um, they may have sort of been dishonest with you, haven't told you the truth about things. But I'm also seeing with the justice here that this is telling me justice has been served and that wrongs will be put right and i really feel like this is in the past that you've had to deal with this it may crop up a little bit in the month of february that there's maybe similar type of people around or similar type of situation but really um really remember what you did last time and listen to the messages here if it is cropping up again it's like what do I need to learn from this? And this could be associated with the Wheel of Fortune too and that resistance about this type of events that have been coming up in your journey. So sometimes we're, you know, these things crop up and it's like, I need to, do, I need to face this. And then we can, once you've faced it, you can, it's quite easily, you can really move on after that. And the High Priestess in reverse tells me, all you need to do is go within deep, dig deep down and really understand what it is that you need to hear the higher self needs to sort of speak to you there now the ten of cups so there may be a little bit of um imbalance when it comes to sort of family stuff and things like at, at home and it's kind of like oh i'm just feeling a little bit dissatisfied with some things at the moment but really this is telling me that the, a lot of this is going to change for you and change for the better so you're going to start to work really through a lot of things clean it up that's a really good way to start too just go around clean the house vacuum um, move things around get some energy flowing really what really let in that new start so it's really telling me here this month is important to have that energy flow through for you and then you can just welcome in the new and also um, really work through the old stuff so especially if this person in the past if they crop up again or a similar event happens again you know what to do you've learned from what's happened last time so karma is going to be dealt with for you as well because justice is really telling you that you know whatever's happened before it's okay um it might be just removing some of that old stuff too so it's like you you, you think you dealt with it all but it might be just that little bit of extra that you need to work through in order for that new beautiful beginning to happen again for you all right so in the past too the hangman major arcana card comes up here so it, this is really about releasing 
releasing um, a lot of old stuff. So really, I think you, you guys have really done this. You've had that really beautiful release and it's kind of like you were still, you change your perspective. This could also be related to the Knight of Cups. So this kind of, this person tells me this is a relationship too. So I feel like a lot of you who have chosen this pile, you released an old relationship and really you, you had that chance to go within yourself and change your perspective too. So a lot of you have grown from certain relationships could have been um, just a partnership as well with um, someone that you really cared about. This might be sort of connected to what's happening now where you need to release some more things, um, especially with the Seven of Swords. It really tells me that you've, you've were hurt by somebody and that somebody that might be presented again for you. So it's working through those old hurts because what I'm really seeing is that with the King of Wands is that you're someone who's totally different to that old person that you were back then and you're you're confident you're talented you're um you really you can do what you want to do and you're the master of your own life so you can move anywhere you want to do where you wherever you want to go and you can be the person whoever you want to be so the king of wands is someone who is incredibly um, magnetic too so I think a lot of you are you've got that beautiful fiery energy it's just having that reminder that you're you are that person you have changed a lot you've worked through a lot of stuff it's just a little few little um, hiccups that you may have during the month of February but remember that the new start is coming welcome it in really welcome it in and clean up all that old stuff that needs to go so I'm sort of getting images of photos as well. Some of you might be hanging on to photos and things. So um, it might be time to release some of the old memories. Okay, so beautiful new start. Here we are with the Ace of Cups. So that is really telling me that there's a beautiful new romantic emotional beginning for you guys. And that's the seed that's getting planted this month for you. So that is really beautiful to see. It's kind of like, here's the hand, here's that beautiful new emotional beginning, and you're going to be welcoming it, and you're going to be ready for it as well. So just remember to work through some of that old stuff and welcome that new beginning, because I feel like a lot of you guys are really ready. You're the king of wands, you're confident, You've got that beautiful energy. So really let it happen for you. And I feel like a lot of you are going to be a lot more emotionally stable as well. So you've worked through a lot of stuff and you're going to be having this beautiful, refreshing new beginning. And with the Wheel of Fortune reversed, just don't be resistant of it. Let it happen. Because it, this card is all about almost destiny too. So you're destined for new changes to happen. And you know, the universe doesn't give you anything that um, you're not ready for. So welcome it with both hands, all right? Now the Three of Pentacles is telling me that sometimes you feel like you just need to go at things alone. So just remember you have a lot of support around you and to accept it with both hands. A leg up's right there as well telling you and reminding you that you don't have to do things all by yourself, that you can call on family, friends, people that, you know, you know, that can really just help you build that new life. Because when we see the pentacles, it's all about the material world. So you may need some help with moving things around. Um, you might need some help with financial stuff um, as well. So really let those people come in and help you with it all. So really, that's it um, for you guys with the Clear Quartz reading. Um, I hope it resonated with you and I really enjoyed um, yeah, showing you what could be possibly happening for the month of February. I know you guys are going to be okay. And um, yes, and thank you so much for um, letting me read for you and talk to you soon.